Hi, welcome back to Mrs. Jalera's art room. So to, right now we're going to do part two of our wild robot art project. So far we've drawn the robot and the trees and the rocks and the ocean and the sky, and we've painted them in with watercolors. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do some shading and how to draw the trees and add some details. I'm going to use oil pastels, which blend really well, but if you don't have oil pastels, you can also use crayons. So I'm going to start with the rocks, and what you want to do is imagine that the sun is shining on one side. So I'm imagining that the sun is shining on this side, the right side. So the left side of everything I'm going to make a little bit darker. I'm just going to take my oil pastel or you can take your crayon and the thing about oil pastels is you can also smudge those and you can also go over those like make it darker and then go over it um, with another oil pastel and you can blend your oil pastels which is fun. I'm going to make it like a little darker over on that side. And then if you want to, you can also make it a little lighter on the other side. So go ahead and have fun with that. So that you're adding some shading and you're also adding some highlights. And then I'm going to go on Roz herself. and add some shading on the left side here as well. And go around her hand here and on her legs as well. And this also helps define the shape of the robot. And this side just maybe a little bit of white like this looks good the sun is shining over there okay now's a good time if you have oil pastels to go ahead and color in those eyes and I'm going to use the edge of my oil pastel to make her mouth. There we go. Okay, now I want to add some trees. So on the cover of the book, you can see the trees are different shapes. So some have their um, the main trunk and then the branches going up and some have the branches going down. So just have fun with that. And, you know, don't overthink it too much. Have fun, make some real simple trees. Now I'm going to make one over here with the branches going up. Something really cool about oil pastels, if you happen to have oil pastels, is that you can do light over dark and it will show up. Okay, now I left a little bit of room here for a sun kind of going behind. I'm gonna try to hold my paper real still. All the lines you wanna make for your sun, make them going around, okay? And then just blend other colors. 
So I'm going to want to add some yellow to this. It's that kind of a sun. Just fun. It almost seems like it has a little bit of pink. There's not a pink oil pastel, but that would be pretty if there was, wouldn't it? If you have pink, you could add that as well. Okay. And if something happens like this, like a little gets on your mountain, you know, just put some snow at the top of your mountain. Why not? Um, I'm noticing that another detail here that I want to add is I want to define my eyes a little bit more. My eyes seem like they got a little bit lost and maybe my mouth. And just use your good old pencil to add some of those kind of details. Okay, now I'm going to take my white oil pastel and make water lines in the water. And if you want to, you can also add some little dots to your rocks. If you like those. There we go. You could even write Rosam 1734. I think that's her number. And if you wanted to, you could even write the wild robot on your paper. Okay, everyone, have fun. I hope you liked this art project as much as I do because I really, really love this book. And I can't wait to start reading the next one, which is called The Wild Robot Escapes. See you next time.